shocker, EFCC arrest Governor Ganduje's wife. See why. Half sat Ganduje, the wife of Governor Abdullahi Ganduje of Kano, has been arrested by the EFCC over a bribery and land fraud case reported by her son, Premium Times of Land. The arrest comes weeks after her failure to honor the anti graft agency invitations. Mrs. Ganduje had earlier been invited to report to the EFCC Abuja headquarters on September 13th, Premium Times reported previously, but she did not appear and the EFCC then threatened to arrest her. Sources close to her later said she traveled to the UK at the time to attend the graduation ceremony of her son. Investigations are questioning Mrs. Ganduje over allegations relating to land fraud in a petition by her own son, Abdulaziz Ganduje, a person who has the knowledge of the arrest but asked not to be identified, said she was arrested this Monday evening. Mrs. Ganduje was still at EFCC headquarters as of 6 a.m. on Monday, this newspaper learned. Abdulaziz has dragged a small Hamzat Ganduje to the EFCC sources familiar with the matter said, suggesting a pattern of corruptly using family access to power for private enrichment. Mr. Ganduje, the governor, had previously been involved in a corruption related scandal. He has struggled to untangle himself from the public perception that he is a corrupt public servant since 2018 when Delhi. Nigerian published a series of videos that showed the governor collecting money from a government contractor. According to sources who saw Abdulaziz's petitions, he reported that they was approached by a property developer to help facilitate the acquisition of some plots of land in Kano with some hundreds of thousands of US dollars. And at least that 5 million naira as facilitation commission. Premium Times for the land that Abdulaziz said that paid the sum in dollars to his mother, Mrs. Ganduje. But three months later, the property developer discovered that the plot of land he wanted and had paid the first family for had been allocated to other buyers and he then requested to be refunded. One source added. It is Nemesis. Yeah. It is Nemesis that is catching up with Ganduje. First and foremost, Ganduje himself is a corrupt leader. Very, very corrupt. See, out of all these northern governors, Ganduje is the first most corrupt governor. So I think the, uh, he, he has passed the virus to every member of his family. Even the so-called son that went to report the mom still cannot be trusted. Okay, if you decide to investigate this properly, you will see that the son reported the mom based on contest, based on jealousy, greed. And what have you? Probably the mom has refused to allow him to be the one to handle the project or the deal. Do you understand now? Yeah, that is why he decided to take that first step to report the mom to the EFCC. Do you think it is ordinary for someone's son, the son of, of a woman, to report his mom to the EFCC? It's just like saying, kill my mom. That is what it, just, it looks like. It's just like said, shoot my mom. I give you the instruction to shoot her. That is what it means. Do you think it is easy? Something has warranted that. Something has warranted that. That's why I begin my analysis by saying Nemesis. Nemesis is catching up with Governor Ganduje. And this is just the beginning. Ganduje cannot be trusted. Ganduje is 
number one corrupt governor. You've heard it from the content, how he collected money from a contractor in the north. See, let me tell you something. Some of these are our leaders that are struggling to come into power and not coming into power to come and better the, the state too, or the country or the local government too. They are coming for their own selfish purpose to come and siphon, to come and steal. That's what they are coming for. You think they are coming for you? Sorry, they are not. They are coming for their own purpose. To come and steal, that's what they are coming for. If you don't know. Can't you see that the moment they come into power, all of the promises they made, they, they made to you, automatically will be, will, be turn, will be turned down. They will turn it down immediately. They will not even pay attention to any or any of them. That's why I do tell people not to be paying attention to whatever they present as a, as a manifesto. They are all lies. Don't be listening to their manifestos. Their manifestos are fake. Fake manifestors. Don't trust those manifestors. Do you understand? Don't trust those manifestors. They can't be true. You see that? So, Ganduja automatically has passed the virus to his own children. He has passed it to them. They are now, you know, having a share of it. They're having a share of the virus. The stealing is already in the blood, flowing inside the blood, inside the bloodstream, is flowing. You can imagine. You can imagine. So I cannot trust Ganduje. I cannot trust him. So the wife possibly has really gone to commit this fraud probably refusing the son to be a part of that very fraud that is what has actually caused the misunderstanding between him and the son you understand that is what i have mean, caused that but then I tell you that it has a lot to do with Nemesis. Nemesis, I'd say, is what is catching up with them one after the other. And that is what we catch up with. All of them, they will never go unpunished. They will all suffer it. They will all suffer it. This is just the beginning. It's just the beginning. You understand? Yes. Let me hear you speak anyway to know what you have to say. If you are new, don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.